Hey guys, it's Final Master Link, and welcome back to the last part of Let's Play Earthbound. Have a nice uh, music tone going in the background, I must say. And uh, I think we'll look at the letters first and do a couple of other things. Dear Jeff, everything's really going great here. I wish I could have gone with you on your adventure, even just part of the way. But instead, I'm sitting here waiting for you in winters. I want to see you again as soon as possible. I can't wait for, I can't wait to see your cheerful face. I bet your glasses are dirty. If you come back, I'll clean them for you. Like I said, I'm waiting for you. Yours truly, Tony. P.S. Don't show this letter to anyone. Too late. Okay, a letter from mom. Dear Ness, how are you? Since you left home on your journey, things have changed around here. For example, I don't have as much laundry. Huh. <laughs> uh, funny. Also, we don't seem to eat steak as much as we used to. That's kind of interesting. I heard that you defeated some universal evil character. What was it? Googie? Or something like that? Well, that sounds really great. I want to hear all the details, so hurry home, okay? King Tracy and I are waiting for you. Love, Mama. How sweet. Now, the last letter is from the kids at Polestar Preschool. Dear Paula, how are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine, too. So are me, me also, me okay. Please come and play with us again at the Polestar Preschool. Oh yeah, one more thing. Bring us some presents, if you have any. Sincerely, your friends at the Polestar Preschool. And they gotta work on their reading and writing skills. Alright, now... I guess I can do one more thing. Like, first I gotta... I gotta... I gotta move. And then, uh... Well, that, that spot should be pretty good. Okay, let's go to... Uh, I guess we should go to Tucson, because Paula said that she wanted to go home. So we should do that real quick. just going to meet you... No, wait. Never mind. Never mind. Forget I just said that. I think it's kind of important that you, uh, talk to, uh, Paula's parents. Because there is some funny dialogue. That's one of the kids. He's smiling. Which is cool. Ness, thank you for escorting me home. There was something I wanted to tell you, but I've forgotten it. I'm sure I'll remember by the time I see you again. Well, I guess this is it. Goodbye. Uh, so long. See ya. Bye. See you later, Paula. I think if you talk to her father or mother, they'll say that you're permitted to date our daughter, Paula. You know, something funny like that. Okay, now let's go to own it. Ah, oh, God, I don't know if I have enough time to, s to go to the credits. Or to put all of them in. And again, I guess you don't need to see all the credits. I think half of them, they just show, like, the characters. Let's see, how much... Oh, God. I gotta go to the freaking bank. I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back. I had to get a bunch of money. You see, you can buy this house that I showed at the start of the game, but I never actually went around to getting it. It's a pretty cheap house, I mean... I mean, I think my house costs like uh, twenty thousand or so. This guy's only selling it for seventy-five hundred. Huh? What the hell? Oh my god! Well, I guess he was right about the ocean view, but oh my god, the bed's crappy. What a waste of good money! Oh, oh, this is one of those uh photograph places. That's pretty cool. Pictures taken in instantaneously for the last time. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, Fuzzy Pickles. Peace. What a great photograph. It was al it'll always bring back the fondest of memories. Um, I'm just going to skip ahead right to Ness's house. Hey guys, I'm back. And uh, I just went to Onet's, I mean Ness's house. You can talk to your mom, 
Wow, you've become such a strong young man. I hear all your stories, but I don't want you to annoy you. Yeah, you can talk to pretty much everyone in the world, and they'll say something different. Like, after you beat Gigas. And, uh... The photo man, um... Brought you all of the photos that he took of you. Which is pretty nice of him. Although we don't know who he is. Oh, and you do a little, like like a run in place like they would do at the end of like a play kind of well I guess at the end of the play they would like bow or something anyway your sister comes in too your dad doesn't you, you never see your dad in the game he just like it'll go through a character list and it'll show you like dad and then I'll just show the telephone because that's the only way you can communicate with him so I guess that's close enough are coming up. See, there's the photographic genius. I think he just took a picture of us. Well, when you see this video, he's going to take a picture of you, though. Music is so amazing right now. I think it's always a good idea. Like, they take one of the main themes of the game, and they, like, tone it down a little in the pitch and, you know, the, the way it's presented. And it just sounds so amazing. Yeah, like, it sounds emotional, even. This came out in 95, so I would be two. Which. Well, I guess I was like just learning to walk or something like that. See, if I remember right, um, I don't think I got into video games until I was like, uh. uh I don't know. I guess it depends. I think the Game Boy came. Or the Game Boy Color came before the PlayStation. Because I know those were my first two. I don't know which one I, I got first, though. If I would have to guess, I would say... I would say the PlayStation because, like, my dad actually, um... Like, bought one for my family. Which was nice. 
And he still has it at his house, actually. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's the older model. I have the, the, the PSX, which is basically the same thing, only it's smaller. I don't know why they had to put the X on it to make it sound extreme, I guess. Man, I'm gonna have to cut some of these credits out. That's bull. I really... It's gonna suck. show the credits some other time so I will see you guys later